Chair. What is your commitment to the Arts District in Clifton Forge and all localities working together to promote arts and tourism? I'm full support. Um, I think that's a great, uh, relatively new sort of iteration for what Clifton Forge has to offer uh, both its residents and visitors. Um, and again, it's much like the library, not just a resource for uh, folks in Clifton, but also folks in the county. Um, so, you know, I, I think at this point, um, Clifton has made uh, substantial progress, certainly in the last 10 years, um, and the Arts Center, the Arts District, as it's becoming, um, is certainly playing, a, has played a role and will continue to do so. So, um, I think unqualified support and anything the county can do um, to help Clifton and the sort of the, the larger community support the arts, I think is important and, and should be done. Richard? I agree with you, Eric. The Arts Center is an asset to put before It brings in a lot of other town people that spend their money here, the residents. Theater is another big thing in Clifton Forge. We support it. I know I've supported it. And if we continue supporting those, we can bring more people into Clifton Forge that can see what Clifton Forge has to offer. And I do not see where that is a problem with me supporting that. Yeah. I think we're all in agreement that the arts in the Allegheny Highlands are crucial not only to our quality of life, but also to our economic stability. Um, I was part of the initiation of the Allegheny Highlands Arts and Crafts Center 33, 34 years ago, um, which really saved Clifton Forges downtown when the rail yards began to pull out and we really were struggling downtown. So I'm a big supporter, I'm a volunteer there. Um, I'd also like to mention the uh, Arts Council over in Covington, which has been in existence for a long time, a big part of our community. What can we say about the historic Masonic Theater except thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Clifton Forge School of the Arts, um, I take classes there, I teach there. Um, I think the arts will save the Highlands. It will bring attention, it, you know, through all, all across the region for our town and for the Allegheny Highlands, and I am a full supporter, as both of my friends are, of the arts in our area. Thank you. Richard, we'll start with you with this question. What do you feel are the biggest challenges to the town of Clifton and the county of Allegheny? The biggest challenges to the town of Clifton Forge is, I think they need to get some of the property to get somebody to locate in here to the business and put the forward. Like we was going to get the uh, Grover thing and that fell through. I felt so bad for put the forward when that fell through because I was looking forward to that. Uh, a piece of property back up on the Ingle Street next to the Easy Path. They got that road cut up in there. I would like to see them put something up there or try to put a pad up there to try to attract some business into this area. The old shops is a primary place for another business if we could get it to come in and do the port. Allegheny County, I think that when John got together with Covington, and we partnership with them in the economic development. I believe it's going to help the area. But there again, I wish all of us could partnership. Clifton Forge and RGA could partnership in it. They, they, they each locality show what they have to try to draw some business in here and do it the same way we would do with Covington. Split the uh, proceeds, the machinery and tool tax to uh, help support the Allegheny House. Okay. Joan, if you would start, if you would start using the mic again, there are some people that are having difficulty hearing. 
So if you would use, if each of you would use the mic <laughs> as you pass it down, we'll have to turn it on. It's on. It's on. They've been listening to you. So can everyone hear me now? <laughs> better. Uh, I'm happy about that. Better, Good. better. All right. Um, Well, of course we can do a test. How's that? That's lower. I think I can speak loudly enough without the microphone as a mother of three and an old school teacher. Can you all hear me? Thank you. All right, let's put the microphone down again. Um, of course, we do have the Hub Corporation coming into the rail yards now. We have a signed agreement with them. They've already begun construction of new rail lines, and they will be trucking uh, salt in and out. Um, so we do have some economic activity in Clifton Forge. Um, also, the Triangle area near 64, um, that has been purchased, my understanding is, and a master plan is being drawn up for the use of that area. So I think there is growth happening in the Highlands. Um, both in the town of Clifton Forge as well as in the county. We need more of it. And I agree completely with you, Richard, that the way this is going to happen most effectively and efficiently is through cooperative talking and action. Thank you. I'll also try without the mic. I'll, I'll direct towards the crowd. Um, I think the question was the biggest hurdle biggest challenge, the biggest challenge uh, to the town and the county. Um, I think broadly speaking, everyone's sort of right on track that economic development is the key issue. Um, the question is sort of how do you get it and what does that look like? Um, but I don't think there's any question that that should be a priority. Um, I'm not sure, certainly I think the, the economic development agreement between Covington and the county is a good start. I'm not sure if Clifton Forge and Iron Gate were asked to be a part of that um, by the county, um, but that's certainly something I would support for both of those localities. Um, as I mentioned before, I think Clifton is doing a, a great job and has done a great job the past 10 years. Um, certainly, I'm sure a lot of folks remember the sort of late 80s, early 90s when uh, downtown was empty, close to empty. Um, and substantial progress has been made, but at the same time, I think as Clifton Forge sort of changes its character, um, the town also has to be mindful of the folks who have been here for, um, you know, 60, 70 years, have lived their whole lives here, and not, you know, try to price them out of Clifton Forge's growth, um, which is something I've heard talking to folks um, going door to door, is that that's a real concern, that folks are being priced out of Clifton. Um, so I think there's a balance that needs to be struck between uh, regional economic development, which is going well, uh, but at the same time remembering that um, we still have to meet the needs of all the citizens of both the town and the county. Thank you. Joan, we'll start with you. What do you think are the biggest opportunities for Clifton Forge in Allegheny County? I think that we have made huge progress in bringing tourists into the area. I think that's our future. I think that um, the continued development of the arts community is going to bring increasing numbers of people in. And I think that we need to be very assertive, very aggressive in promoting our area. I think that um, I have spent a lot of my professional career writing about this area, about the, um, the Eastern Mountains, the Highlands, the Blue Ridge Mountains. I've written dozens of articles for newspapers and magazines. And I think we need to continue that very aggressively and very pointedly. Um, I think that um, this is where we're going to grow and this is what we must do. Thank you. Uh, I think the town and the county is uh, a great place to live. Um, there's never been a doubt in my mind when I settled down it was going to be uh, somewhere in the area. Um, and Clifton is uh, really, I think, at a tipping point. Um, 
as far as the progress that's been made over the past 10 years, um, I think pretty much everyone's looking forward to what can happen in the next 10 to 15 years. Um, at the county level, I think it's important that Clifton be looked at as it is now, which is an asset and really going to be the economic engine for the eastern part of the county, um, as opposed to the mindset of early 2000s when the, the city gave up its charter um, that Clifton was somehow a liability for the county. Um, so I think there's tremendous opportunity both for the town to, to uh, continue to grow and uh, become a great place for folks to live, um, and also as part of that, a great opportunity for the county uh, to take advantage of that economic growth um, building on what's happened over the past 10 years. Richard. I agree with that. Promoting the tourism is a great thing. I don't know if anybody saw some of the pictures on Facebook that Robin Hall took. And she took some beautiful pictures. And I wrote a caption underneath of that you don't have to leave Clifton Forge or Allegheny County to find beauty because beauty is here in Allegheny Highlands. And uh, we, we need those assets. To the tourism is an asset. To <coughs> and whatever we can do to, to get them to come to this area, we need to do it. We need to work with together, like I said. I said that when I ran the first four years, I said we're not working together. We need to all work together because we all live in the same area. We all live in the same boat. And I think we all need to work together instead of bickering. Jared, we start with you. Allegheny County is losing population. What would you do to slow the population train and to bring new good paying jobs to the county? Well, I, that's a good question. I think the, the issue is sort of start relatively early um, and make sure that at this point in time we're doing all we can to create opportunity um, to keep uh, essentially our children in the area. Um, so that goes, the, the new tech center at the high school I think is uh, certainly an asset in that regard. Um, I think the, that opportunity for partnerships and encouraging growth with Dabney um, is certainly uh, something that should be looked at. And then the next step beyond that is to create an environment where the, the town and the county are offering jobs to the, fo to the students um, who are graduating from the tech program from Dabney uh, that they can stay in the area. And I think that's a great opportunity for the town. I mean, just physically how the town is, is set up with the downtown area, plenty of housing, um, with a few sort of infrastructure upgrades, mainly fiber optic um, lines throughout the town um, as is happening over the region. Um, Clifton as a town and the county as a whole has a real opportunity to take advantage of technology um, and the jobs that technology can both create as far as um, generating techno you know, technology in the town as well as um, the ability to work and um, participate remotely, um, I think is a, a great avenue for both the town and the county need to look at as a way of growing in a way that essentially our children will, will want to live and stay here. I agree with Jared on a couple things he said there. The county is also uh, this new tech learning. I think that would be a great thing for the Allegheny school system. And it will hopefully will, can y'all hear me? Can you hear me, Jerry? Can you hear me now? Try that. I agree with Jared in a few things. Uh, the county has already made our donation to the New Tech Learning for the high school. We need to continue doing that. 
We also have the uh, Love Truck Stop, which is coming to Exit 21, which is going to hire a numerous <coughs> and hopefully some of the seniors that get out of high school could go there. In, in Exit 21, that's going to be a start for new businesses to, to locate there at Exit 21, I believe. I know that I said it in the last meeting that I talked to the, the Loves guy after the meeting was over, one-on-one -on -one with him, and he told me that after the Loves got up and running, that they were planning on putting two more businesses in that area. And I told him, I held him to his word, and if I don't get elected, I will still find him. <laughs> <laughs> And he said it. He said that he was going to do it. So we're going to find out if he don't. I will. The same thing I said to me. I will find him. Ask him why did he do that field. But uh, we need new business. The new tech will help. Fiber optics, I agree, will help. Will help. And if we can get more business, it will help greatly. Thank you, Dan. Well, I I agree that the. Um, New Tech program is a good start in our area for creating um, the know-how to do um, some jobs that are not business-based, that are not um, railroad-based, that are not paper mill-based, and will allow people to work remotely. Um, I'd like to see a little bit um, more larger regional cooperation in developing different types of jobs. Um, assuming the Appalachian Regional Commission makes it through um, the Trump budget, we're hoping. Um, I would like to see us working more closely with the Appalachian Regional Commission. They're doing amazing things throughout Appalachia, particularly in Southwest Virginia, to bring in different kinds of jobs that are suitable for remote areas. So um, I would advocate, um, as a board of a supervisor member, um, increased communication with the ARC, as well as um, meeting more frequently, perhaps with Morgan Griffith, our congressman, who is deeply involved in the rest of Virginia as it extends farther west and south. So that's how I feel about it. Richard, we'll start with you with this question. Do you support the county's funding, the Allegheny Highlands Economic Development Corporation? We've been funding it for years. It's not up to me to say yes or no. I'm only one vote. As soon as I can get more information on it, then I will make my decision. John? Um, my knowledge of the EDC is um, admittedly fairly limited, but I think the theory of it is um, it absolutely crucial to our survival that, you know, again, as we're working together as a region to be bring new businesses, to develop the economy, how can it be anything but good? And as far as should the county fund it, um, from what I know of it, I think it's absolutely crucial that we be involved financially, yes. Derek? I agree. I think it should be funded. Um, it's probably one of the best investments the county could make as far as uh, leveraging the contribution uh, to the EDC in terms of what each dollar would, is potentially going to bring back. Um, they're doing a great job um, really cataloging the region's asset, the area's assets. Um, working on ways to market that. So I really can't think, um, other than education, um, can't think of a better investment for the county to make. Thank you. Joan? As tourism increases, we are plagued by a shortage of overnight lodging. What do you suggest to fill this void? Um, I think most of us are aware that there is a um, hotel project involved now and up and running in Clifton Forge itself um, that's been very, very thoroughly researched. 
um, the economics of it as well as the tourism, tourism draw. So I would suggest that we all get behind that um, hotel project in Clifton Forge. I think also that, you know, as we develop our economy more and the tourism gets to be more stable in our area, that other hotel chains will come in. But right now, right here, we have a boutique hotel being planned that is beyond your imagining. So I would, I would suggest everybody get behind that, support it, and um, others will follow. Jerry? I, I think Joan said it very well. Um, it's certainly a need, the need is there, um, but we have the opportunity, um, we have folks, local folks who are willing to um, really put their necks out to start this, and I think to the extent we can support local folks, uh, local entrepreneurs who are willing to uh, meet a need, I think that should be the focus. Um, and as Joan said, as, as the town's reputation increases, as more tourists come in, um, certainly some of the larger chains might follow, um, and there's certainly sites available um, and the potential for that, but to the extent the market is going to support a, a local homegrown hotel downtown, uh, which could be a great resource, um, much like the, the Georges over in Lexington, which is a fantastic place, um, to the extent anything like that could uh, come to Clifton, it's nothing but a, a, a huge success. Glad. Glad to the board. Too soft spoken. That's what happens when you have a soft spoken <laughs> uh, I didn't know it wasn't wire of what she just said. I think it's great. But there are other localities in the Allegheny Highlands that we could put a motel if we could just get a motel to agree to come in here. Uh, I will say this, uh, one of the things that the guy from Love's told me, that was one of his plans, was putting a motel, another motel at exit 21. So we'll have to wait and see on that. You, if you could get somebody to obligate yourself to come in here, we could find a place to put them. We could find some land for them. I know we got to have, got to do it to order to survive. The more people you got coming in and staying in the motels, they're going to come downtown Clifton Forge, and like I said earlier, they're going to see what downtown Clifton Forge has to offer with the art center and everything. Thank you.